Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. This is my OG Steam Deck which has been quite heavily modded with both a transparent RGB backplate as well as a transparent front from JSO. This Steam Deck is almost two years old now and so is my channel. And the fact that all of you have kept me in your feed for all this time and that even more of you keep subscribing each and every day was absolutely unthinkable one and a half years ago when I uploaded my first video of my OG Steam Deck being unboxed. Back then I had about 500 subscribers so it's been a very pleasant ride so far. So thank Thank you so much to every single one of you for sticking to my channel. Today we're doing something similar, my Steam Deck OLED has finally arrived and what better to do than to unbox this together. Let's jump into it. And the unboxing experience is actually very similar to that from the last time, although this time we get to know that we're about to play our games in a whole new light, whereas last time they were going places for some reason. And we still get this cute box containing a 45 watt charger, but this time it has this Steam logo on it, so that alone may be worth the switch to the OLED version, if you like the Steam logo that is. And I think I might have forgotten to say it in the intro, but this is the 1TB version. And what that means is basically this. Here we have the original 256GB version to the left, which is the one I had from before. Then we have the upgraded 512GB OLED in the middle. And apart from the obvious new and bigger OLED screen, we get higher refresh rate, a more energy efficient CPU, bigger battery meaning much longer playtime, as well as faster internet connection. And then we have the model I have here, it's the same stuff as the middle version with added storage, but it also has a premium anti-glare etched glass and a carrying case with removable liner as well as a few digital goodies. And the craziest part about this is that on the paper this is such a massive upgrade from the OG Steam Deck, but Valve has kept the prices. Or actually you can get more storage for less money this time around, so big thumbs up to Valve. So with that being said, this is the 1TB exclusive carrying case with the removable inner case, and it's nice to see that Valve has gone for this Tech Cravers Orange in the logo this time. But now finally, what we've been waiting for, the 1TB Steam Deck OLED. Now this could probably be a super psychological thing, but this really feels lighter than the OG Steam Deck. Valve doesn't mention it in its comparison, but supposedly the OLED is 5% lighter than the original. But I actually think that my modded Steam Deck is even heavier than the original Steam Deck, so that's probably why this came out as such a noticeable difference to me. And about that inner case, you simply pull it out of the larger case that it came in and now you have a perfect protection for your Steam Deck when you want to save up some space. The only drawback here is that your charging cable won't fit in the back anymore. And for overall design and button layout not much have changed, we get another orange detail over here with the orange power button. And also the analog sticks are black this time around instead of the grey ones from before, but otherwise nothing has changed on the outside. So let's instead boot it up and see if we can spot any other noticeable differences. And it strikes me right away just how amazing this OLED screen looks. The black screen here is truly black and not washed out like on a LCD screen. Also the anti-glare is doing a fabulous job getting rid of reflections. As you can see my camera is barely noticeable at all. And apparently all of us who ordered early also get this personal message that we got one of the first units and that we have to go through an initial installation process and a system update. And while it does that in the background we might as well take a look at the Steam Deck OLED and my transparent modded OG Steam Deck from a few different angles. And it's very clear from this brief footage that the anti-glare screen on the OLED does remove a lot of reflections. And as we conclude this brief unboxing video of the Steam Deck OLED, let's briefly compare the Turtles Shredder's Revenge running on both devices. While it's challenging to accurately showcase any color differences on the screens, the OLED truly needs to be seen in person for a fair assessment. We can at least observe that the game runs at 60 frames per second on the LCD, whereas it elevates the refresh rate to 90 FPS on the OLED. And that concludes my brief unboxing of the 1TB Steam Deck OLED. From what I've seen so far, the screen alone makes the Steam Deck OLED well worth its money. However, if it's worth upgrading if you already own the OG Steam Deck, I will have to come back to after playing around with it some more. 
And apart from a review, I will soon drop an updated emulation tutorial where I go through the whole setup process for Emudeck on Steam Deck and show you the easiest way to get going with emulators and games on your Steam Deck or Steam Deck OLED if you have just bought one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss that. If you liked this video, please give it some love by smashing the like button and comment down below if you're one of the lucky ones waiting for a new Steam Deck OLED. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out.